it was smooth sailing when we played, so I trust it'll be all right. All righty. So hazmat four lives, wink five lives, and we were on streets. We take yep. it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. All right, good luck, have street fun, gentlemen. Fight. Everyone else, get yourself. I require concentration. Uh... This should be fun. I I really don't know a whole lot about either of these characters, so I'm just excited to watch it. What if you unmute yourself, Orzen? I don't know, man. I don't want you to talk shit to them and get in their head. I know I know that you have all kinds of bad words. Specifically, Amid has been downloaded ready for it. What? I really don't know much about uh, what Wink does. I know that she has some goofy shit with her launcher, because I've seen Mystic's videos. I don't really remember much else. And I don't think that would be relevant here. I, ooh, we got a little standoff with our meter. How much energy does she use when she blinks? It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like much at all. Ooh. Oh, oh I, fuck. I, I, that better not have hurt me. Okay. Yeah, no. Do a video that goes over a week of hair on teleporting videos. I, I I think I watched that last night, but my melatonin gummy had already kicked in and I was out. But also I had I had pretty much decided I wasn't gonna play Paragon anyway. Ooh, Wink's got no energy. You've gotta come into that launcher, it's the only way you're gonna buy yourself some time and maybe get some rage. Car launch. Wink is ready for it with a blink. Uses the aerial recovery. Really low on meter now. Ooh, goes for a dodge attack. Left herself wide open for a counter. Surprisingly, Hazmat wasn't ready for her, but he still managed to get something off. At this point, Hazmat is pretty content to just toss shit at her, knowing that she doesn't have the strength to do anything back. He can play a pretty defensive game. He's got the entire arena at his back. What is he doing? Hold the the button. only thing he really needs to do is prevent uh, Wink from getting any more energy. Yeah, Mystic, I, I don't I don't think so. I just I just don't know what she does. But now I'm learning a little bit. Doesn't manage to get the grab on that. Oh, ooh, that's gonna be a decent amount of damage. Wink not looking so good. Goes in for a pretty ballsy teleport attack. Doesn't find the hit on the knockdown and ends up with the invulnerability. Dodging projectiles and just trying to buy herself some time. Stabilize and find a new game plan or maybe wait for Hazmat to make a mistake. It's a tough situation because if, if Wink can clutch this round out, she might be able to get a decent amount of health back from the uh, from the from the round victory. Baits the projectile and then teleports away. Ooh, I don't know about that super jump. That was interesting. But I guess wanted to get on the other side of the car. It's scary right here. It's really just ooh. I, I press I press X. Are you she, kidding me? I I don't think she <laughs> you weren't facing it. You were yeah, facing it. She wasn't sideways. facing the right way. She was facing oh, it like um. Come on, Mike. She was perpendicular to it, so it just hit her right in the hips. Oh. Yeah, Mystic, that's something that uh, Scorn was mentioning. So it's possible that since they've played, Scorn has developed some kind of uh, counter plan to that, and that's why it's- Oh, you hazmat slop! He's like, ah, uh, I don't want to do that. I'm not entirely sure, but they're really, they're really playing a pretty patient game here. I admire that. Wink almost goes for grabbing, I think tries to bait out the projectile and definitely gets it. Ooh, putting on a little bit of pressure. Lee gets out the super block. Good launcher. Now that's cover a lot Aoki. of damage. Waiting for the nice, waiting for the projectile, and then uh had the the dog attack. Ready. I'm gonna have to do something. Oh my god. I think that was scorn actually, never mind. I thought that was someone else in the call. Ooh, it's a little scary. Are we gonna see a finisher? I don't know. Ooh. Knowing that Hazmat didn't have enough energy to shoot her, goes for the, uh, hole there. Korn definitely knows how to handle it. Oh, Hazmat, what are you doing? Yeah. They, no, you can tell. These guys have played before. They've got some insider knowledge with each other. Hazmat content to just pull off, get enough distance from that taxi. Ooh, nice. No, no reason to worry about that. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that was actually insanely clever of Hazmat meant to do that. Because not only did he whiff with the uh, the parking meter, giving Wink a, a sense of, um, I tried a sense to of jump security, the camera allowed it so that no one could see that the car was on fire. 
Incredible interaction right there. Ooh, we've got Hazmat Rage. Time to lay on the pressure with some, mu with some mucus. Okay, air grab. Covers himself with the super block. Smart. Knowing that wake up attacks generally have a lot of uh, a lot of priority over anything else you might want to pull, but super block basically you're one way around it. Regular blocks the the block string. Ooh, but Wink had already baited that out, but still manages to get tossed. Ooh, this is a really rough spot for Wink. I think she might be dead. Yeah, she is. Bullied in the corner with a car and no energy. She's done. Ooh, There's nothing angles. you can do about that. Nice angle. This is a rough spot. Scorn looking pretty posed to take his first game against Triple H. Ooh, up against the truck in a hard place. Oh, what the? Nice immediate Scorn was just kind of walking in there. I don't know if that was intentional. It seemed like he was trying to get some spacing, but didn't end up doing anything, and he sounded frustrated. Superblock's just in case that Wink went in with, uh, with the charge attack. Ooh, it's a tough spot. Grab break into a fatality. Yeah, we all kind of knew that was coming, and that's a flawless victory from Scorn. Gosh, oh my goodness, not that good. <laughs> Double check that I'm muted. Okay, thank God. I was worried that they might have heard me. Right. This is scary. Dude, I don't even know how good. Okay. Um, has my uh, I get to ban one, him. so again, not real cool snakes. You ban two stages. Oh, uh, not Rokels and not British, thanks. There you go. <laughs> Streets! Oh, Streets! Streets. This is actually something I really wanted to see. Also, uh, I definitely because... need, need someone to, to uh, tank tank those hits. Because between you and me, uh, is Venom it. is my backup character if Brigade ever gets banned. And by the way, we are still looking at uh, 80 to 85 millisecond ping. I just want to double check. I'm going to chew you he, out! Did he do four lives? Yes, he did. Okay. This should be a really fun one. I'm excited to see how this goes, because this could influence how I want to determine my own matches. I don't think I've seen Triple H's Venom, but I know that he's pretty fond of opting for the tank build. Best way to outlast him. I think at this point his game plan is maybe to stifle out some of the energy usage of Hazmat, get behind cover and use that to uh, chuck objects, and then once he has the opportunity, whether it be a knockdown or no energy from Hazmat, he's going to pick up a car and throw it. But until then, he's not sure if he wants to. Because at any moment, he can get shot with Mucus and ruin his plan, or get hit by a range grab, which would easily disrupt. Ooh, you see, we got a dicey situation where they both know they could grab that or launch that car. Ooh, this is really intense. This is anyone's oh, first see, that's exactly game, and we why know how much the regen will pop up. Hazmat took so much damage from that explosion. Oh, it's anyone's finisher. Or it could be oh, crash back. fall damage. Let's see how much Venom recovers. Taking that round. Ah. Nothing. He got no recovery. That is a bad RNG roll if I've ever seen one, folks. When he's already in danger, he's, he's got to commit to launching some cars. He can afford to make ballsy plays because he's really close to dying. And I think that's probably the game plan he wants to make. If there's any time to risk going for some cars, it's when you've gotten no recovery and you're just Fire. trying to nickel and dime the board. But he doesn't manage to get anything and Hazmat recovers fully. Tries to bully him into the corner. Doesn't really make anything of it though. But he doesn't use a lot of energy either. Hazmat can tend to shake him off with some more mucus shots. Oh shit, dude, that hits from any angle. Ooh, oh, look at that combo. magnetism, dude. The sling attack into the super uh, air grab. Very nice. Good, uh, good, good knowledge of the situation and you know that you could land that. I'm out of energy. It should. Guys, knowing what's safe on block, knowing when they can just hold Y and when they actually have to commit to a timing or some other mix up of the dodge. Just trading blow for blow. Ooh! Tense situation! Oh, he didn't have enough energy to super block and he wasted it at the startup of, of that grab. I think Hazmat or Scorn might have gotten a little bit scared of that truck. Really, uh, that really me. blew his counter plan. Hazmat with Rage might be able to make something happen though. Notices that uh, Venom is in the sky and goes for the super grab. Nice job. Venom has barely enough energy to make an aerial recovery, but not from that. And now he's just getting just clobbered with these objects. This is anyone's round at this point. We know how fragile Hazmat is, and he already goes down to match him. Oh my god, Hazmat, oh don't sabotage, bro. Oh, 
when you know Venom's gonna close in and go for the finisher. Hazmat content to shake him off. And here's a card that might spell the victory. The air combo, if he can get away or super grab, or super block, excuse me, and he gets away. And that manages to take out Venom. We've got three stars to two. At this point, Venom's just thinking, all I gotta do is Ouch. clean out this one life without taking too much on my own. Knowing that the regen is definitely gonna be on his side, all he has to do is land one shot. But of course, Scorn knows that. He's gonna super block in time. Ooh, Triple H doesn't wanna overplay his hand. He's getting to the oh, oh. Will he be able to recover all that he just lost? Almost, just about. Yeah, oh, it didn't put you behind me this time. Punish game. Triple H now trying to reserve himself for a little bit more defensive gameplay, knowing that in the oh, in the so skirmish of, of pure stamina, Venom is content to take it. Ooh, but if he overplays his hand like that, he might get caught out of a block string. Yeah, basically, Charman, as long as he can avoid the fire, which this stage has. Ooh, manages Ooh. to get three clean hits with the truck. He might bring this back. Ooh. It's a good pickup from Hazmat. Yeah, Orz in the Orzo and anyone else that might be watching, if you're trying to get better at this game, I can't really think of a better resource, uh, a better resource out there than Mystic's uh, video guides. You go to Mystic Mania uh, on YouTube, you'll find a playlist with all kinds of stuff. I think it's like 20 videos all about this game and its engine. And if that's not enough for you, we has written more stuff on the uh, speedrun.com page as well. Hazmat manages to get Rage. He's probably going to super block this uh, sling attack. He does. It sails overhead anyway. Manages to get the launcher into the grab, really abusing the iframes of that super block, knowing that with Rage, he can basically use that whenever. And just by hitting the startup, he can use it as a surprise attack. Surprised that he did not uh, counterattack that missed throw from Venom. But he respected it. Intent to block, but he gets hit by the mix up on the final hit. Rather than going for the, uh, the final regular attack, he switches it for the super attack. Ooh, Venom myself. is Damn. pretty pretty content to take this one. He just doesn't want to get antsy, oh, knowing that, that Hazmat could get a decent recovery if he wins this round. It really comes down to whether Hazmat can clutch out this round and whether the RNG is going to be on his side going into the next one. Applying their options, taking their time, charging their energy. Venom with the grab. I'm surprised he didn't opt to try and close the gap with a super grab. Venom loses God, his it. life. It's a 1v1, and Hazmat gets a pretty good regen. Oh, and that was a critical hit, if I'm not mistaken. They're basically even at this point. Ooh, good super block. Blocks the grazing shot from there. Ooh, commits a little bit too hard with the super finisher. Oh, if he can land that combo, not bad. Ooh, and he gets the mix-up on his area recovery. He was ready and snuffed it out with a grab. Very nice, and now Hazmat's got low health and low energy. Ooh, Venom with a bit of a missed target. You can tell he wanted to sling attack directly at Hazmat, but the game just had other ideas. Ooh, it's a tense situation when they're next to the car like this. He's closing the gap. I that was a ballsy play. That could have easily backfired. But Venom's still in this. They're both still in this as they share an explosion together. This is really... Really scary, though, because Venom is pretty close to being in danger. Anyone can get a fatality and spell the end of this. It's Triple H's set to lose. Ooh, Miss is launching the car. I see a DM from Mystic Maniac. Ooh, that was such a risky trade play, but it paid off. He doesn't have a lot of juice in the tank. I think Triple H should be really mindful of how much energy he has to commit to his area of recoveries. That missed projectile could be bad. Manages to get a grab. Nice. Of course, he's going to block that every day of the week. Gets the, almost gets the cross-up, but Hazmat ready with the energy to punish. You 
can't cross him up for free. That's what Scorn says. Ooh, this is a really rough situation, and it ends with the fatality. Scorn taking the set 2-0. Oh.